Welcome back everyone to Lore of the Shadow where I am here in Norcross where I am informing the various people that they should evacuate. Our mission is dire. I shall miss my home dearly, but I will not disobey a command from our noble Reeve. Ah, the ward is a wise ruler, and if he requires us to take shelter within the city, then that is the course of action that I'll take. Pardon me, for I must begin preparations to set forth. All right. Very well. Now, let's go. I will presume that he will inform her of the evacuation, and we will head off to the next crofter. Ah. Here's the next croft now. Uh, there's also an orc here. We better deal with that orc. Otherwise, the crofter won't be able to make it home or make it to Cliving safely. Now, assuming that he... Yes, they are still alive here. Hello? Will you aid the horse lords? Reefoth Ward intends to leave us unprotected if we do not flee. I can't fathom leaving my home abandoned, but... I will do so if it means the safety of my family. Thank you, stranger. We will make for colliving at once. Okay. That's two. Now, let's look for the next croft. And, as I said, make sure I clear out a few orcs in the area to ensure that the crofters don't ki get killed along the way getting evacuated. Oh, is this the next one over here? Maybe this family is already preparing to leave? Or are they preparing a chores list for the day? Will you aid the horse lords? I cannot understand why Othward refuses to send his riders to help defend our homes, but he's always done what is best for his people, and I will adhere to the decree of the evacuation. Blessings to you, messenger. You're welcome. And to help them get out safely, we've got oh, we've got quite a quite a nasty group over here. Hello, who needs mounted combat? Here's the next one. What brings you to these lands? Thank you for the warning. It seems to me that these lands are fit for naught but war. I'll make haste for Adoras, in the hopes that Theoden King will still hold against our foes. All right, so he will head for Adoras. Now this isn't exactly the direction towards Adoras, but. That orc is a bit close for my taste. I'm surprised I'm finding them all alive. What business have you with the Rohirrim? The orcs have spread across the fields and have made it far too dangerous to remain. I'll heed your warning and leave these lands behind. Yet, I hope someday to return. Yeah. We've got this warg rider standing right, I was going to say in the middle, but it looks more like on the edge of her field. Just off of her field. Well, no longer standing. Now let's see what he got here. Ah, back to Othward. The crofters have been warned. Thank you for your help. Thank you for providing warning to my people. Too many have fallen already, and it changed me greatly. With the crofter safely within the city walls, I shall do all my power to keep climbing safe. All right, good. So, what's next? Well, what do you need me to do now? I am inspired by your companion's example. I have been speaking with your companions while you aided my captains of the guard, Pinemore, and I am inspired by their example. A man of Rohan, a girl of Dunland, and even an elf. How is it that folks such of different backgrounds can work together? 
It pains me to see you leave. Can you not stay and help with the maintenance of climbing? I could use each of your talents of better to state of my people. Yes, discuss it amongst yourselves, if you must, but don't decide to leave so quickly. A strong climbling makes for a strong Rohan, and these are troublesome times. Right? Ooh, looks like they have their opinions here. What do you say about this, Corridan? This city has little to fear of orcs, if you ask the opinion of an elf. I have seen more secure homes, but they were in the Malorns of Lorien. This city has little to fear of orcs, if you ask me. Athelwold should see what he can to do to protect the people who live elsewhere in the Norcross, but he can do that uh, without my permission. <laughs> or presence. Uh, yeah, presence. Yeah, we certainly don't have any need of our permission. What do you say about this horn? You're the man from Rohan. We need not stay here any longer. Cliving has strong walls. Cliving has strong walls, and its defensive position is better than those of the other towns that we have seen. Athelward has little cause to fear orcs for this fastness. He does not need our help any longer, so we should be off. All right. And then we have here Nona. I'm sure she has a nice, positive view of the Rohirrim in this. Probably not. Let's see. What did you do while I rode? I walked along the city, ignoring the distrustful looks that I received. I don't like this city. Horn says that his home is not like this place, and I am prepared to believe him. A city such as this one could not have produced a man like him. The people of this city are distrustful and small. Boy. Well, that's... Sounds like Nona's opinion of many things. Okay. Uh, did you speak with uh, Seaflid? I did speak with her. If she were not soft and coddled like many of the horse folks seem to be, she could be one of the Uchluk. She has the temperament for it, if not the weathering given by a hard life. I think that she was frightened of me at first, but she had many questions about my people, and I enjoyed talking to her about them. The guard captain did not let her out of his sight while she was in my presence. Uh, that puts me in mind of a caged bird. Oh, I could not have tolerated it, but Seepla did. No one could mistake her for me, that is for certain. Uh, she was very curious about Horn. I told her his singing voice is not as fair as he thinks it is, and that he is not my equal in combat. I think she was disappointed. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, what about uh, this other bit? I think it is time to go. The Uruks that, that we followed did not come this close to Cliving, either because it was not not on their road, or they were afraid of the town's defenders. In either case, they know nothing here about what happened. That's right, we, we're, we're trying to chase these Uruks. No, yes. I completely forgot about that. See, you get caught up in things. Alright, well, we are we're getting ready to leave. You cannot blame me for wanting to keep skillful folk at the disposal of my people. I understand that you need to be off, but you can't blame me for trying. If you have business back in Athangles, can I ask you to deliver a message for me? Okay, I guess I can do that. Oh, good, 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 good. This may surprise you, Pine Lore, but I have no male heir to carry on my line. Uh, I see, all right. Yes, I love my daughters more than my own life, but a son would release me from the worry that my line will end with me. And my wife has been dead for this past year, and it is time that I begin thinking of the future. St. Muthrith of Elthangles has had 
more than her share of grief these past few months. If it is in my power to heal the sorrow I have caused her, I will do so. I desire her hand in marriage. I will respect her decision in this, but please express her to her how strong a union between our families and our cities will be. The Norcross would only benefit from such a union. It is uh, not the first time I have asked her for her hand, but it will be the last, no matter her decision. Uh, I, I can make one guess as to what her decision will be. I will deliver the message, hoping that she doesn't cook me for telling her. I have returned with news of your daughter, and I also bear a message from the Reeve. You cannot be serious. That scoundrel, that brother. Well, I survived it. <laughs> Dame Mildred listens to your message from the Reeve afterward with growing horror and disgust. <sighs> Is an action doomed my husband Panrod to death by the orcs, and he personally gave my son the wound that killed him. He has to go and ask for my hand, not once, but twice, and to use friends to do it? <sighs> Mildred brings herself under control and continues in a quiet, deadly voice. I sent you to learn if my daughter Seafled was being treated well by the murderer of her father and brother. Is she? Boy, that is not going to. Oh, boy. I think the Reeve is lucky she didn't accept the marriage proposal because I think within a week he'd find a knife in his back. If Thank you for easing the worry in a mother's heart. If Seaflad says she is being treated well, I will keep my complaints to myself. Thank you for easing the worry of a mother's heart. My daughter is strong-willed, and I trust that she will have the sense to send word if her situation changes to ill. Turning now to the well-being of my people, I find clarity. We must not rely on the reed to protect us. I don't trust him. But more so, I feel in my heart that he will see first to the defenses of Cliving and not, not leave the walls to protect the rest of us. The other towns of Norcross do not have Cliving's natural defenses. You have been a good help to me, but I know that you are eager to progress westward in pursuit to the Uruks that you seek. Go southwest to Faltham, my way of the river crossing. A scout and see the crossing is held to by our foes. Also, I ask that you collect the emblems from any orcs that you find in the Norcross. Show these emblems to Elfhelm and to Thane, uh, the Thane of Faltham, and it's proof that we must stand on our own and not rely on Othward. Oh, and wait! Elfhelm has gone to the forest of Isen now, I remember. His son Elfmar must have ruled Faltham in his absence. Show him the emblems instead. You're right. Oh, that's right. I. There we go. I met Elfham right. Yes, of course. I have found the river crossing, and it appears to be... Well, I, I will take that back. I was about to say that it appears to be free of orcs, but... For a moment, it wasn't true. So we have to report that I got the first emblem off of a writer that was at the particular location. But I am going to be needing more of these emblems to show that these writers are all, all over the place, including at the board. It's not just writers. I also see... What is that? That is an orc on foot. So, orcs on foot, orcs riding. In general, orcs. Oh, actually, they don't have to be riders in order to be counted for that quest. All right. 
Okay, from orcs of the Norcross, it doesn't matter whether or not they are riding. Whack. Don't come near the hobbit with the stick. This appears to be Faltham, Faltham. I'm not too sure which one it is. I mean, it's a Rohirrim town, so I'm just wondering, is it the hum, the natural ending for a village, or is that the H more related to more how Tolkien would often use it? But welcome to however you pronounce this place. I will probably be saying follow them because that's the habit I've gotten into. Now, let's go inside and speak with, well, Elfmar, Elfhelm, whichever one's out here. I suppose I should just refrain from calling him an elf. Hello. Welcome to Foldham, friends. Okay, he says Faldum. All right, and these are not the first such emblems that I have seen. I know the orcs move across the Norcross in great numbers. I am trying to do the best I can to combat them wherever my father, while my father's away at the Fords of Eisen. Yeah, I suppose he's heard news about the thrills of that battle. You have seen battle. Would you like to train with my men? I have known Thane Nidrid since I was a boy. She was not Thane then, of course. It is a great shame what happened to her husband and to her son, but I am not attributing her words solely to grief. Grief about the words is many things, and I would never say that he lacked courage, but the simple fact is that Caliving is far away. He worries first about Caliving and second about other towns within the riding. I cannot say that I would do otherwise. Hmm. Tell Elfmar that you spoke with the father, with his father Elfhelm at the Fords of Eisen. Ooh, okay. So I do mention that I've been to the Fords of Eisen. Ah, I'm glad to hear that my father still lives, Pylor. I would like to hear more of your account. While my father is away, I am trying to rule in his place as best I can. You have seen battle. Would you like to train with my men? Ah, so that's what prompted the voiceover. All right. Uh, we can discuss the state of things in Rohan, and you can tell me more of what you have seen beyond the borders. All right. So talk to Elfmar, and we will train his men. I guess we could do that. Elfmar is a good man and true, just like his father. We should help him prepare his men for battle as best we can. Very well. Things go ill in Rohan Pylor. I fear that the king's men are fewer these days and in days past and less resolute. I have heard whispers from villagers and lords alike that puts things little fate into Theoden King. I stand with Amor, the king's nephew and third marshal of the Rittermark. He's my shield brother and we have Spartan in peace and fought side by side during the war. If he were here, he would be the first vol to volunteer to train with my men. Alas, Elmer is carried hither and yon by the tides of danger, and he goes where he is most needed. For today, that is elsewhere. All right, and I remember Bormer telling me a long time ago if anything happened to Theodred, which I don't think I've mentioned to anyone yet that something has happened to Theodred. Then Aylmer is next in line. It will not always be so. And that is why I want you to train with my men. They will have need of the experience when the orcs come to follow them. Uh, as surely they must. And yeah, they do have a habit of coming to places you don't want them to. I have called as many of my men as could be spared to the f from the field. This is the very enclosure where my father taught me to swing a sword, and when I was but a child. Let us see if I can make my father proud, though he be far distant. We shall be the first combatants. Okay. 
It has been my custom, the custom of Faldem, for the leader to take the first battle for himself. And I see no reason that this should be different today. Let us have a good battle, Pine Lore, and by our example, inspire my men. And we'll, uh, all right, we will see about that. Whoopsie daisy. Oops. Oops. Oh, phew. I yield. That was a good contest. Well, what do you say about that horn? Well fought, both of you. I will find someone with whom to test my own metal. All right. And what about Nona? I'll try not to hurt these horse lords too badly, Pine Lore, for your sake. <laughs> oh, no, no. All right. This man is of the rank of churl. His mood is one of trepidation. Okay, well, let us see how this churl operates. Enough! Yeah. Okay, it looks like Horn is busy battling with uh, this Rohirrim fighter. So now let's try this churl. Okay, there we go. Good combat. And then we have this is a this man has the rank of Guma. Guma. Not too sure. How Goom was cognate with Guma in the modern language. And then we have here another churl. Not that the word churl hasn't uh, evolved a bit over the years. And then uh, Rink. This man has the rank of Rink. Rank of Rink. Okay. Uh, uh, so we, we will uh, we'll beat him to the brink. Okay, good. And now over on this side. This man is of rank of rank. His mood is one of eagerness. He is born to fall him, and his loyalty has always been to Elfhelm and his heirs. Okay. Wait a minute. I know when I've been beaten. Okay. And then here we have this man is the rank of Guma. All right, we are back to a Guma. Okay. You got me fair and square. All right. Well, what do we got left? Oh. Another churl. I give up. And then finally, Rink. Okay, we, we will kick him out of the rink, I guess. There you go. Now. Uh, back to Elfmar. Is it true that your friends and boon companion Horn is from Airworth in the Antwash Vale? If he is the son of the Reeving Vert, then his sister is the girl Ingith. Hmm. Elfmar looks troubled. I wonder how she has taken the death of Prince Theodred. Oh, he has heard the news then. Uh, those two were betrothed, and now, alas, never they will marry. This war has already taken the happiness of many, and it has only just begun. I am ready to spar with you again, Pine Lore, and this time I will not let you have the victory so easily. All right, so it'll be more difficult to get the victory this time. Whack. <laughs> I yield. Very good. Ah, well... Here is Corridan. Oh my, no Nana Horn will likely be sparring like that for a while. What? 
Oh, I think you... I think you can find that I can. Do you see the strength of my arm? Oh, where? Oh, here on my sword arm. Ah, oh, you're having a jest. I will spar with you, lady, but... I, okay, I will not be called by that you... Lady? Delicate? <laughs> he called Nona a delicate lady? Well... I would not d harm such a delicate flower. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, Nona's not going to take that one. Oh, my. Nona and Horn will be likely sparring like that for a while. I have been wondering how much longer it would take. Each of their interest in each other has been quite obvious to me, though perhaps not to themselves. <laughs> Who would you like to spar with me? They're not likely to be ending any time soon. All right, well, I guess we could do that. Stick your bow, I guess. Oh, very good. Nice and short. I can see that Horn and Nona are still not finished. Oops, I think I better stay away from that. I don't quite know what to make of this, Pine Lore. If I didn't know any better, I would say that those two were courting. But uh, that would be unwise to say aloud. <laughs> Perhaps I'm mistaken. <sighs> well, thank you for your help. I know what my men are better prepared to face. What must surely await them now? I hope that you found the training useful as well. All right. I guess we should go. Yes, are you ready to return to the meat hall? Nothing falls up a uh, sweat uh, like a great mug of ale. Oh, I thought you were going to say mead. I hope that training session proved useful. There is something reassuring about a good bout of sparring. Thank you very much, Pine Lore. I know that my men will be pleased to have had the opportunity when the time comes to defend their homes or those of their neighbors. All right, and what do we got here? The Wiesfotas. Wiesfotas. What, the uh, wise feet? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, wise foot, yeah. A wise foot. <laughs> no doubt your friend Horn will be glad to see his home again. I guess we'll find out. Your road surely runs northwest and now to Aworth. No doubt your friend Horn will be glad to see his home again. And you may be able to learn where the Uruks cross the river, if they still live. As you travel through the Antwarsh Vale, slay any mounted enemies that you encounter. With such speed, they must they could double back and cause trouble for Faldom or for the towns of Zucros, and I do not wish that. Your friends are just outside, I believe. Speak with them and give them my thanks for helping me train my men. All right, so let's speak to Horn, Corden, and Nona and find out what their opinions are on this. It looks like all is well so far. Hello there, Horn. I guess we go to Aworth next? I thought we might need to go to Aoworth. It is my home. I thought we might need to go there, but I have not been there to stay in several years. I returned briefly for a few days after Theoden King ordered me to Stankard and before I left Rohan. My father was pleased to see me go, I think. His name is Ingbert. And he's the reeve of the Antwarsh Vale. He trained both Prince Theodred and Elmer when they were young. He trained me as well, but I didn't impress him as much as they did. He's a hard man. I hope my family troubles will not distress you. <sighs> Nona, well, he will not think much of Nona, that's for sure. I will follow your lead to Aworth Pinelore. I don't want my family to cause any trouble for you or our companions. Okay. Well, what do you see about that, Nona? I do not understand why Horn is reluctant to return to his home. Or perhaps I do. 
If I were to return to Lanuk now, I would be glad to see Suvluk. I would introduce him to Coradon uh, uh, and a horn. Oh, perhaps I see why Horn is not eager to see his home again. <laughs> uh, what do you say, Coradon? Aeorworth sits very near to Fangorn. I would like to see that forest, if we may. Aeorworth sits in the cliffs at a bend in the Edwash to the north. Were we to follow the river past the city, we would eventually arrive at the forest of Fangorn. I have heard tales of Fangorn that make me most curious to see it, but to hear Horn speak of it, I cannot imagine that he would want us to get any closer up to it than Aworth. All right, so I need to defeat mounted foes in the Antwarsh Vale and then head over to Aworth. And that's what we're going to do in the next episode of Lore of the Shadows.